Hi, and welcome to Kicking It With The Mules, a monthly blog from Missouri School for the Blind. I'm your host, Carly Lee, Director of Community Relations here at MSB. Let's find out what we have in store for you this month. Student Activities Beta Club. Hi, I'm Nicole, and today I'm going to be discussing with you about our Beta Club that we have here at school. Now, for those of you who don't know, Beta Club is a academic honors program that has a very strong emphasis on community service. So it's relatively easy to become a part of a Beta Club, especially here at our school. But we do have some standards. <laughs> So we are looking for good students, so you have good grades and obviously you don't get in trouble. And we are looking for good leaders. You know, you know how to take charge but still work with a team and handle situations on your own. You know, be responsible. And then we're also looking about your character. We wanna know how you handle things in certain situations and how you act in general. We want to have people who are willing to actually dedicate themselves to this club. So there is states and comp national competitions. Um, and this year at the Missouri State Competition, which we just got back from, we got fourth place in performing arts and we got fifth place in club trading pin. And even lights up. So that's really cool. Um, and then I also ran for vice president, and let me tell you, that was a little nerve-wracking. Um, it was definitely a big step out of my comfort zone, especially when it came to, like, talking to people in a large crowd on stage, but I learned so much just from that one experience. It was insane. It was probably one of my favorite and best beta um, conventions that I've been to. Now, unfortunately, I didn't win vice president, but I don't really see that as kind of like a loss because I was asked to be a nominee for the Harris Award. And that is basically a award named after the founder of Beta to go out to Beta members who show the fundamentals of Beta. So leader, character, service, achievement, they're really good leaders. They try to do as much as they can for the community and the people around them and for their club. So I will find out if I get that at nationals. So fingers crossed for me, all right? <laughs> um, and in case you're wondering, nationals is in Fort Worth, Texas in 2020. It's going to be awesome. So wish us luck. MSB Beta Club Group Talent Performance.
together. Great minds think alike. These phrases all refer to the benefits of being a part of something. Hi, my name is Nicole Motley, and as your next Missouri State Beta Vice President, I invite all of you to join the Motley crew. The need to belong to something is a part of us. We belong to our schools, graduating classes, but most importantly, we're a part of Beta. As a group, club, or even as a crew, we can all work to achieve more. When you join something bigger than yourself, it can go a long way in realizing the greater good in our world. As Betas, we join something to make ourselves better. And by making ourselves better, we can make the world around us better as well. I can help with that. By joining the Motley Crew, we can all strive to achieve our goals of leadership, character, and service. When you vote Nicole Motley and join my crew, it will be beta as far as you can see. Join the Motley Crew. lesson do you hope to take from the person that you consider to be the most inspirational to you? A life lesson I want to take from my beta sponsor, Mr. Doyle, is to always have confidence in myself and show everyone who I am and what I'm here to do. And don't forget to join the Motley crew. Curriculum Spotlight Music. Hello, I'm Brian Mueller. I'm the music instructor at the Missouri School for the Blind. And I am on our theater stage here, and we have been working on a Christmas carol, Scrooge. We're doing a modern version of that. And I'm very proud of the work that the students have been doing, um, working, striving toward their performance this Thursday at one o'clock. Let me show you around. Well, Scrooge sits at his desk. It's a modern computer firm, firm and he's very, a very evil person. He shouts out, barks out orders to his staff. Later in the show, here's his tombstone, Ebenezer Scrooge. We'll walk over here, Bob Cratchit's family home. We have a fireplace and a beautiful Christmas tree. Bob Cratchit is his nephew. He has a very small bit. And over here, the staff of the computer firm will be standing here going over some formulas on a chart. I think you also see that we have musical instruments behind us. We have a keyboard, a drum set, a bass amp, and a piano. Here at Missouri School for the Blind, we have very talented singers and instrumentalists, and I'm very proud that our instrumentalists can uh, accompany almost 90% of our program. Here we are again. I'm at the beautiful grand piano. I'll give you a little more information on our program. The middle school upper school music classroom activities meet the Missouri State Curriculum Standard requirements. Our instruction focuses on musical notation, printed and braille, music theory, scale and chord construction, singing instrumental music, and music history. The students perform a holiday concert in December and a spring concert. The school has a combined middle school and high school choir that is accompanied by the student instrumentalists. Some performances include short musical and jazz rock instrumental selections featuring student soloists. The lower grades participate in the concerts and musicals also. They also learn to play woodwind, brass, and percussion instruments. 
Christmas concerts can include holiday songs from around the world exploring cultural nuances. Vocal and instrumental selections are performed by all the grades. Our original adaptions of holiday musicals require many challenging and educational classroom hours of vocal, instrumental, and theatrical instruction. The art department supports the scenery build and is always a welcome addition. Spring concerts repertoire range from standard art songs to American pop historical pieces. Students receive instruction in braille and printed music notation. Rhythmic and melodic elements are addressed with the use of large print manuscript and tactile displays. Our singers and instrumentalists are encouraged to further their skills participating in free weekly music lessons offered to all our students after the school day by an experienced adjunct music staff. Lessons include voice, piano, brass, woodwinds, drums, and guitar. Our summer offerings have included a two-week still pan camp and a musical production of Schoolhouse Rock. Boy, we had a lot of fun with that. Students are encouraged to express themselves in song, improvisation, acting, and explore possible musical careers. Let's see some of that music program right now. Department Spotlight Outreach. Hi everybody, I'm Jane Herter. Uh, I'm the Director of Outreach and the Project Director for our Deaf Blind Project here at Missouri School for the Blind. Uh, one of the things that we do in outreach is provide, uh, we provide many different services, but several of those resources uh, are out across Missouri as we provide these services for no cost to school districts all over Missouri. Uh, one of the things we provide is function and vision assessments, orientation mobility assessments, learning media assessments to any of your students who um, you suspect is uh, visually impaired um, and if you don't have a TBI or an o &M specialist in your school. Another thing we provide to school districts is consultation assistance um, for a school or a student who has dual sensory loss vision and hearing loss. Uh, that service is also at no cost to any school districts that have a student who suspects they have a child who's deaf, blind, dual sensory loss. Another great aspect of our outreach department is our MOSFIN program, Missouri's statewide parent involvement network. This is a fantastic resource for parents who uh, have a child between zero and five who need education on how to best uh, raise their child with a vision impairment with or without um, concomitant disabilities. Uh, we have parent educators all across the state of Missouri who will come into your home and address certain issues and needs that you find you need help with with your young child with a vision impairment. And these services are also available to you at no cost. Another fantastic offering that Outreach offers is our library. We have a massive collection of print, print braille, and audible textbooks that can be easily loaned out to school districts and teachers. Uh, in addition to that, we have a professional development library um, that teachers, physical therapists, related service providers, general education uh, teachers can borrow. And to give you uh, some knowledge on how to best uh, teach your child with a vision impairment with or without multiple disabilities. Another fantastic resource in-house here is our Materials Instructional Resource Center with Yvonne Ali. Yvonne uh, registers your students once a year through the census that's coming up this December and through that textbooks, materials, adaptive equipment is all available to your student at no cost. Lastly, we have a uh, deafblind school specialist that can reach you uh, uh, through your intervener, a paraprofessional, and provide one-on-one -on -one consultation to that paraprofessional to your student with dual sensory losses. 
Um, I'm standing here today in our newly remodeled uh, conference room, and this is so wonderful um, for increasing our professional development to teachers, related service providers, administrators, paraprofessionals, uh, general ed teachers, PE teachers, interpreters, um, teachers of the deaf. Uh, once a year we have professional development in here for a whole week. Uh, this year will be end of September. Um, and in this room we can meet up to, uh, we have state of the art, uh, audiovisual presentation material, uh, equipment. We also have this room to be accessible um, for per persons who are deaf, hard of hearing, or who have vision impairments. Um, we also are beginning new uh, long distance via web professional development for those who cannot make it in person. So look for these great upcoming events coming to you uh, in September of next year. In addition to our weekly professional development offerings, we also provide professional development through Visa, which is for our um, early interventionists, first steps providers, parents, uh, preschool teachers, um, helping you better teach your student from zero to five who has a vision impairment with or without multiple disabilities. We also have our hand in hand offering, which is offered to teams of school in school districts who uh, have a child who have a student with a dual sensory loss and it's intensive uh, individualized training uh, through our hand in hand program. Lastly, Insight is uh, an offering that we provide to train our parent advisors in the MOSFIN programs. If you'd like to reach out to us, check out MSB's website, click on Outreach, you can contact our staff through that page. You can find our offerings in professional development, uh, how to contact our librarian, how to contact Yvonne, and also any resources that you find that you may be looking for through our live binders. Thank you so much. Thanks again for joining us for Kicking It with the Mules. Check in next month for a new episode with new information about Missouri School for the Blind. If you haven't already, please follow us on social media. The links are in the video description. Go Mules!